Hi everyone and welcome back to my series on how to make an action RPG in Godot 4. In this episode I will show you how to get started with the new tile map terrains, or auto tiles as the equivalent was called in the previous versions of Godot. Let's take a look at our tile map and our tile set. So far we've just covered the ground with green grass. But now I want to add a desert area, which I feel that these tiles could be perfect for. There are a lot of different tiles here, and carefully selecting and placing them and making sure that everything matches correctly can quickly become a tedious job. Luckily we can use the tile map terrain system to make our job a bit easier. Make sure you've selected your tile map and then go to the terrain sets properties in the inspector menu. If these properties aren't visible, then make sure you've also selected the tileset. You can do this by clicking on it at the top of the inspector menu. Once you've found the terrain set's properties, go ahead and click where it says Add Element. We have three modes to choose from. Match Corners and Sides, Match Corners and Match Sides. The first one match corners and sides is the most complex. So let's start by taking a look at matching only corners. Select the match corners mode, click where it says terrains and then add a new element. I'm calling this terrain sand and I'm also changing the color here to something with a bit more contrast compared to our sand color. You'll see in a moment what this color is for but it's only used in the editor and has nothing to do with the colors in your game. So don't overthink when it comes to choosing a color here. Now zoom in on the tileset in the tileset menu and click where it says paint. For our paint properties, we want to select terrain. Set terrain set to terrain set zero and then set terrain to be our new sand terrain. We are now ready to paint how our tiles should be connected, which may sound abstract, weird and complex, I know, and it can be, but it doesn't have to be. To simplify things, we will start by only using the nine tiles here. This can only create simple terrains, but it is a good place to start. Since we selected the match corners mode, we can paint each of the corners on a tile and also the middle of the tile. We will use this to create a pattern that the engine can use to automatically choose the correct tile when we paint our terrain onto our tile map later on. We want to be able to create a large area of sand surrounded by the darker edge sand. So we need to paint on the light sand areas here. The easiest way to remember how to paint each tile is to think about the sand as the floor and the dark edges as the walls. You then need to paint all the floors and none of the walls. Once you have set up the terrain, it's time to use it on our tile map. Go to the tile map menu and make sure you have selected the correct layer. Then click where it says terrain to the left. Now select our new sand terrain and try making a large rectangle of sand. Our simple setup works fine for this case. This is also how I make the backgrounds for a lot of the GUI items in my own game, including the inventory and the programming menus. But when we break the rectangle by adding smaller ones at its side like this, our current setup doesn't suffice. It's clear that we need more tiles to cover these cases. We need tiles where only one corner is the dark wall sand. We need something like these four tiles. So let's set them up the same way as we did before. Paint on the light floor tiles and leave the dark wall tiles untouched. Also remember to paint the middle of the tiles. I forgot to paint the middle of the tile that's fully light before and I ended up with this weird looking sand area. Once the new tiles have been painted, let's go back to the tile map and use the terrain on our map again. This works much better than before. 
we're currently only using 13 different tiles, but it can still be used for a lot of fun designs. Honestly, if your game can work with the design options we have now, then don't make your terrain more complex. More complex terrains take longer to draw and set up, and can sometimes be more frustrating to debug when something doesn't work as you expected. But the tileset I'm using here has a lot of different tiles, so let's look at how we can set up a more complex terrain. If we look at this tile here, we can see that the match corners mode that we've been using so far isn't usable here. All the corners of the tile has the dark wall sand. We can try to use the match sides mode, but this doesn't work either. Here is an example of a tile where this won't work. Instead, we need the match corners and sides mode. Each tile now has 3x3 three three parts that we can paint. And now we can paint all the tiles like we did before. Again, remember to paint the floors and don't paint the walls. Also, don't paint this tile at all. Now let's go use the terrain on our tile map again. We can use the connect mode as before. This connects the new terrain with the surrounding tiles from the same terrain. But now we can also use the path mode to create paths like this. When using the path mode, only tiles painted with the same stroke are connected. Feel free to experiment with these two modes as you like. You can also try to make a big rectangle like this, and then click on a specific tile and place it. This can also be fun to experiment a bit with. And I think that this is enough new info for now. I've also recorded how a tile can be a part of several terrains at once, and how we can use this to add multiple terrains next to each other. But I think that this will have to wait for another time. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel for more content like this. It really means a lot to me. Bye!